the victim of a violent crime rolled into a laboratory for examination. The frozen cadaver, a grey wolf. The cause of death? Under investigation. This is the United States Fish and Wildlife Forensics Laboratory, the only lab in the world dedicated to solving crimes against wild animals. Ken Goddard, a former homicide detective, started the lab in 1989. He and a team of experts use a variety of forensic techniques to identify animals and analyze evidence to help prosecute people accused of crimes. But the job has not been without its challenges. One of the difficulties we face in running this laboratory is we're creating a brand new field of science. There are no cookbooks, no manuals, procedures that we can refer to. We can work off of police forensic science, but we have to develop our own protocols, do our own research, and collect our own samples. To assist in species identification, the lab collects specimens donated by zoos across the country. Dozens of drawers are crammed full of animal parts. Other objects, such as this chimpanzee hand, this bear claw necklace, and this cobra elixir have been seized by customs officers and sent here for examination. As the official crime lab for the Interpol Wildlife Working Group, the laboratory handles many requests from outside the United States. But as their caseload continues to grow, so too does the need for more international expertise and cooperation. Last year, this facility received eight to 900 new cases, and there is no end in sight. Scientists here hope that similar labs will be built in other parts of the world, helping in the global effort to protect wildlife. Ken Goddard says he's optimistic. He recently traveled to South Africa to train wildlife investigators in forensics techniques. And one of the scientists here intends to start a wildlife crime lab in Brazil. What is certain, however, is that this is still a field in its infancy, struggling to make an impact from, for now, the only such laboratory in the world. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, in Ashland, Oregon.